morning. Oh, thank you very much for tuning in to my daily blog. If you like farming, then you're in the right place. And if you do want to help the channel out, press like and subscribe because it really helps it get out to more people. Anyway, Andy's in today, so it's a good day. Um, see what we get up to. I think we've got some cattle to get out. So things are starting up. I'm going to uh, let my dad in and Andy in a little bit later as well. So that's the TM320S that we do all our feeding with. The MX bucket. You guys are lovely, aren't you? Eh? I know. Andy's going to come and straw these up in a minute. Hello. Beautiful. Speak of the devil, he's here. Putting in the straw. Just make it look nice when that goes in. Keep these guys happy. Andy's on. Pulling the bands out. Morning, Andy. All right? Yeah, good. You a bit stiff. Yeah. So swelled up overnight. Yeah, Andy goes, we a bit more now. The lad's backing up the car. Like he's not flashing lights. Andy backs up to the bales, pulls forward, then we'll cut the strings off. And away we go. Dad's going in, feeding with the JCB now. Alright, I'm on the dirty 6930 and he's just passing me. We're going to um, start a mix. My dad's nearly used everything. Then, uh, yeah, we better start again. Give it another go. Nine metres started, first time. We're away. Well, the weather's changing a bit. We've got rain now. Fantastic. So we just biting off bits of this maize silage and putting them into the mixer. We've got the mixer filled there, but it's a good job I looked, because my dad's parked TM where we want to back the mixer up to. In the dark shed where you can't really see it, just an accident waiting to happen. So I'll have to, because we back it down, back it in there, and then down this side, which not going to be able to squeeze it through there it would be tight so we better uh, drop it off we'll use the tm just means i've got to jump in this and move it before i get to the other one which i hadn't guessed it annoys me no, it just just you know it could have parked it side of that tractor there happy days wouldn't have, matter, wouldn't have mattered been out of everybody's way anyway that's how it is so i'm just looking for some cattle and my dad and andy are next door just need a spreader bale are you, are you licking me? Eh? Pretty. Oh, and you're here as well, aren't you? I'm supposed to be looking for somebody. Not stroking you guys. But I love it. You like that, won't you? Hey. This is what I like to see. They're just all very chilled. Especially if I'm like, looking for a particular number. I don't want these guys running about, sprinting left, right and centre. I just want to keep them very calm. And Aberdeen Angus are very calm. They're just a fantastic breed. Fantastic. Just clipping some now. This heifer weighs 736 kilos. She's, um, she's wiggling a bit. Candy's tickling her. Oh, no. it's probably broken. So, Ben's back. Andy's back. Andy, did you see the comments about the shear bolts? Yes, yeah. Not Some... today and not yesterday. <laughs> Somebody said our shear bolt supplier will be very happy that Andy's back in business. <laughs> there was another comment as well that I found quite funny, but I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> it might have been a farming in the fresh one. <laughs> The end of January, 30 and 31st, the HDB have got the AgriLeader forum on again, where um, they have like inspirational speakers and you can sort of do a bit of personal development in like leadership skills and 
just like take a break from the farm to focus on your business rather than just like doing what I'm doing now just getting cattle out and the day to day running like you, you sort of think about um, your business and how you can take your actual business forward rather than just the day to day activities on the farm and um, yeah it's a really good, good event there's one night away two day sort of like conference where they have um, speakers it's not like your normal conference where you just sit down and watch slideshows it's quite interactive and um, yeah they've still got spaces you need to be a levy payer AHDB levy payer um, but um, a lot of farmers are even if you think you're not just just check and find out but you you pretty much are we are because we sell cattle um, and we pay a levy on that if you sell corn you pay a levy on that um, so sheep as well and a few of us check it out on their website anyway and um, I'm sure you'll find it out them guys are shouting I'm off it's a good event really good check it out in all the time but Ben's just doing this one now near the end get it clean it's now dinner time and oh my goodness am I ready for it hungry um, put those out that's ticked off for tomorrow which makes it good um, because we want to get to Griffin Farm Services open day and me and Andy are going to go um, I think John Deere Mix coming with us as well and then um, Ben are you coming? No, yeah. Ben's going to do some work here he reckons I don't think he'll do much. Will you? Roger. Roger! He's not listening to me, is he? Oh, he's having a wee. Well done. Nice shoes, Ben. I don't know what they are. <laughs> like, not nice even sliders. Not even crocs, <laughs> Big crocs. A box full of merch, turn up hats. Um, the beige hat's back in stock, although these are different because we've got a, um, a green tractor on them again. I have got a rugby top, and I think there should be another one of those. Um, we're going to just, I don't know what they are at the minute, but we will put them on, on the website for a pre-order. All green rugby top as well, so let's see what they look like um, a little bit later. We've even got, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a Joe Seals tie. I could be on brand at any event now. Back outside, we've got a lot of cattle to um, vaccinate again because we didn't actually get them all done the other day. Um, although, with these, the farmer that we bought them off has already wormed them and um, done all that, so we just need to vaccinate them, which is, makes life so much, so much easier. So, we're going to be on with that when these guys get around. So, these will get put in there and then we will vaccinate them. Make sure that their backs are clipped and uh, give them a tag. So it's just a case of vaccine up the nose, just squirts intranasally. I've given them a tag and and he's just clipping the back just to keep them nice and cool. Ben's writing all the tags out and I'm recording the weights and treatments into the laptop. We haven't got to fluke and worm these making the job so so much quicker and we could do it again but there's no point adding um, medicine and you know creating resistance and things like that they don't need it they've already been done so we're saving a bit on them um, on medication a little bit i mean worm is pretty cheap to be honest fluke side is a bit more expensive um but we're not going to give them something that they don't need especially when it's a medicine like you don't need you don't want to be giving medicine to things that don't need it yeah, let's face it right anyway on with this here he is <laughs> not sheer balls this time. I, i'm glad he's only coming tomorrow as well ben i think it must be a sheer boat because look it's yeah, it isn't held on by a lot is it i wouldn't buy these guys don't buy these no they're good job <laughs> they're good, good, they're good job good, ones. good job, good job. You've made a good job of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's some right. tape, some tape. Tape it up, it would be fine. Be right. Well, to be honest, they're all the same, so we can just, like, dismantle one of the uh, older ones, I would think. Put some tape on it? Um, yeah, for now. I mean, obviously, we won't be putting any tape on it and keeping that running. We'll be, uh, we'll be... We'll be pat testing it again. We have done a lot of cattle today. A lot. 
Um, I'm going to put these guys back in their pen. I wonder if Ben's car is going to be safe. A nice bit of dribble on there. Should I go and send him away? A lot of slobber going on your car, you know. Really a bit of a clean for you. A rough tongue clean. And now we're just shifting the awkward ones. The ones that we've clipped back into the pen because we had to move things around a little bit. Yeah, I got these. Come on, babies. Of course, they've gone everywhere. Come on, oi, 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 oi. Come on, get on, come on. Things are happening on the machines again, feeding up. I'm just gonna be on a mix. Ben's gonna open the gates for me. We got a load of air there to push up because the cows have destroyed it today. Just noticed as I've started using this, we are missing a bolt there, so we'll get this bucket emptied and then we'll have to fix that. Found a bolt, we'll put a bit of thread lock on it and um, yeah, we'll lock, uh, lock that onto here. Ben's hitting it with hammer now. This bracket just sometimes bends out a bit. Anyway, that's back on. We we'll checked the tightness of the other bits in there. So happy days. It's a good bucket, this. Get some hammer vibration. So we do just go around and tweak it every now and then. Obviously not quick enough because that one came out. So Andy and Ben have put a bale of hay in there. Now we'll just feed these ready for it guys aren't you so i'm just putting a bit of extra straw in this shed because they need it so i'm just pulling in the shed now this is about as done so yeah and he's just finishing that off we'll get a mix of engines in a second but today's mix of engines is probably going to be moving um, as we do it it is a happy birthday to brian dandy and that's on petra reading it off this piece of paper here and also Darren Swift. I can't read my own writing, I'm terrible. I need to get like a second phone so then I can read it off in text. But um, thank you very much for those guys who've done it at the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. 7,768 pounds for that, I think, is the total at the minute, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, links in the description below if you want to get your name in the video. Well, that is it, folks. Is it from us all today? Ben's going to go and shut the gates, aren't you? And he's not coming to Ripper Farm Services with us tomorrow. Andy is cleaning his windows on the straw blower um, for tomorrow because we are going to get up early and then we're going to try and get to um, Ripper Farm Services for when it opens, which I think is 10 o'clock. So I need to ring um, John Deere Mick up actually and, and uh, unorganise this. So if I've not rung you up, Mick, and you watch it video, then I, I will at some point. Um, if you've liked today's video, remember to press like, subscribe, of course, if you've enjoyed it that much that you want to keep in, um, informed about when the next videos are up. And uh, yeah, I think I'm babbling on. So thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. Before I go, I just want to say merchandise, limited amount of stock. You saw there was just one box come today. So um, if you are needing something, get your order in now. And if I am out of stock in something that you want, then put a back in stock request and I can order that to come in the next batch. Okay, business, thanks guys, bye.